Almost exactly a month since the general election, we now have a new parliament, with mostly the same faces, some new ones, and some who haven't been seen here in a while. The ceremony is a formal one, and one of the rare occasions when the governor plays a role. On this occasion, it was Lieutenant General Ed Davis who had the opportunity to declare Parliament open, something he described as an inspiring and proud moment. He took the opportunity to outline the GSLP Liberal Programme for Government as set out in their manifesto, picking out a number of highlights such as a green Gibraltar, a child-friendly city, a post-Brexit financial plan and the completion of the airport access tunnel. The governor said this was an evolving political era which Gibraltar and the UK would have to face together. He reaffirmed the UK's double lock commitment to never enter into any sovereignty arrangements with which Gibraltar isn't content. It is this constitutional framework that guarantees the United Kingdom's assurances on Gibraltar's British sovereignty. I cannot emphasize more strongly the United Kingdom's government's passionate belief in these opportunities for global Britain and global Gibraltar. To make the most of these opportunities, we will need ambition, energy, resolve and imagination, qualities which, time and again, Gibraltarians have demonstrated to have in abundance. I can assure the people of Gibraltar that the United Kingdom will remain steadfast in its support for Gibraltar and will defend Gibraltar's interests as we leave the European Union. Gibraltar is and will remain a beloved and esteemed part of the United Kingdom family. The Chief Minister said there would be radical changes in the coming months and years in Gibraltar to meet the challenges of climate change and Brexit. He said he would be breaking a few eggs to make this omelette. Well, I think it's time that people realise that they have to take responsibility for their actions. We were very clear about this in the course of the general election campaign. Look, on the one hand, we're accused of scaremongering on Brexit, but we're told it's hugely important by the opposition. Well, it is hugely important. We're not scaremongering. We have to ensure that Gibraltar is lean, fit and healthy for what might come, and that we don't drop the ball where our forefathers made sacrifices to give us a great Gibraltar. We must ensure that that's what we preserve for the future. Fabian Picardo said the electorate had rejected the GSD's scaremongering on three electoral occasions now. And although the opposition would be consulted going forward, they would have to have humility, as they had been voted on by only a quarter of the electorate. Because an election is a moment of political catharsis, where the general body of electors clears itself of the unwanted and rings in the new. Those who have lived by the sword of unwarranted allegations have fallen by the sword of the electorate's rejection. Your Excellency, I will not be foolish enough to give my opponents advice on what they should do to defeat us, but it should certainly be clear to them that the tactics used to date have not advanced their cause. The leader of the opposition said the GSLP Liberals' election win was a muted one, which barely concealed the sense of discontent which existed in Gibraltar. We acknowledge and respect the election results, but there are also a lot of people out there in Gibraltar, 46% of people who voted for opposition parties. We need to speak for all those people, all the people of Gibraltar, and we intend to do so in a very regrouped, strengthened and constructive GSD. Mr. Asabardi said he was setting out a marker here and now to convince the electorate that the GSD presented a viable alternative at the next election. In overall terms, our approach in opposition will be energetic, modern, positive, constructive, but yes, also robust and critical where necessary. Gibraltar demands the vigour of tough opposition, and we will deliver that in fulfilment of our constitutional duty and the people that we serve. The governor, who had been greeted by a guard of honour by the Royal Gibraltar Police and seen off by the Royal Gibraltar Regiment, then departed in his official car, marking the end of the ceremony. The first meeting of the new parliament will be in December.